Let R be the rectangle in the plane. X goes from zero to one. Y goes from zero to two. Find the center of mass if the density function is given by rho of xy equals x times y. Now, what's happening here? So, we don't have a uniform density. If you note, as we get further from the origin, we get more dense. So the idea is gonna be our center of mass is gonna be skewed up towards one corner of the rectangle. So, that'll be our check when we're done. Okay, first, let's run through the list of items you need for a center of mass. So, first thing we need is the total mass. That's gonna be given by, we're gonna take our density function and just integrate over our rectangle. Then, we need the moment from the x-axis. So this is just gonna be, what are we doing? If this is a point mass, what will we do? Then the moment from the x-axis is just gonna be the distance from the x-axis times the mass of our point. Here, the density is gonna be a substitute for mass. We multiply by the distance. So if I'm taking distance from the x-axis, that's gonna be given by the y value of our point. And then we just integrate over the region. Similarly, the moment about the y-axis, okay, we take our point, same idea. So here, we're gonna take distance along x times the mass of our point, okay, in this case again, density is gonna be our substitute times x, integrate over our region. Once we have these three items, then we just need to divide by the mass to get the coordinates for the center of mass. Let's calculate our mass. So here, we're just calculating the density over our region. So it's gonna be x, y, and then limits are gonna be x goes from zero to one, y goes from zero to two. So there's nothing fancy here. Our area is just of a rectangle. So we run through this. Okay, so first we'll do x, so y is treated as a constant. So we'll get a one half x squared, put in our zero, put in our one, take their difference, that gives me a half. Now, I have an integral in y, one half y goes to one fourth y squared, put in my two, put in my zero, take their difference, I get a one. So, when I calculate for x bar and y bar, note that we won't have to actually divide by anything. Once you get your moments, those are gonna be your coordinates. All right, first let's do the moment in x. So this is gonna give me y bar. So let's take a look. So here, same idea, we're gonna take x, y, our density, multiply by y, okay, remember moment in x, take y times the density. So when we do this, so again, we're gonna get the one half x squared, from zero to one gives me a half, and then I'm doing one half y squared with respect to y. That'll give me one six y cubed, put your zero in, put your two in, take the difference, and then you wind up with four thirds. So that's gonna be y bar. For moment about the y-axis, same idea, it's gonna be x times the density, take, our integral from zero to one of x squared. So add one, flip it over, gives you one third x cubed. Put in your one, your zero, you get a one third. So we're doing one third y, okay, going from zero to two. So add one, flip it over, I get one sixth y squared, going from zero to two, and that gives me a two thirds. So that's gonna be x bar. This gives our center of mass, x bar equals two thirds, y bar equals four thirds. Okay, now note, X bar goes with the moment about the Y axis. Okay, that's gonna tell you, okay, if I have my region, say like this, okay, that's gonna tell you what vertical line to use so that you balance your region like this. Okay, for Y, it's gonna be like this. Okay, so note, you have to use the opposite label here. So my point is two thirds, four thirds, and then our check is, does two thirds, four thirds live inside the rectangle? And if so, is it skewed towards the far corner. So my picture looks like this, and both of those questions answer is yes. So our check works.